Good Sunday morning, everyone. Thank you for taking time to spend with me this morning. I hope my message gives you hope and healing and just whatever you need this morning. I hope that it, it helps you. Um, I just wanted to say to everyone in the path of the storms or in um, Afghanistan or to our troops, Anyone that is sick and hurting, I pray healing over you. I pr pray protection for you. And I hope that my message this morning gives you a lot of um, hope if you are struggling with many things as I have been lately. Um, my message this morning is on God's healing. And in the past week, um, as I always do, I share my life, the good and the bad. And so the ones of you who know me well know that my mom and I have always had a turbulent relationship. And over the past few years, it has been very strained and um, we have not um, been in each other's lives much. And I have prayed for God's healing of that and his will be done in that. And I have learned throughout my journey with the Lord, it is best to wait for His timing and His guidance because His plan and timing are perfect, not mine. And we all love to have things done in our time, in our way, but that is not always God's timing and plan. So today, I want to tell you about what has happened in my life and my family in the past week. Um, my mom had told my dad, uh, sometime last year that she wanted me to come and baptize her, but I said that, that I would just let me know when, well, when never came. And I prayed over it many times throughout the year. And, um, in the midst of a lot going on in my own life, um, with work and some other things, Last Friday morning, Friday the 13th, the Lord spoke. He said, you will bake a cake, make a meal for your family, and go unannounced to baptize your mother in the morning. Well, I have to say I was flooded with all kinds of emotions and fear because that is a human emotion. And the Lord tells us not to fear, but trust in Him and give all of our fears to Him. And so I did. And um, as I drove up Saturday morning, I saw that my parents were sitting on their front porch. I get out with the basket, with the cake and the meal in it, my Bible, my holy water, and everything prepared to baptize my mother. As I walked up on the porch, I was covered in the strength and, and, and courage of the Lord. And I just looked at her and I said, the Lord told me to come bake you a cake, make you a meal, and baptize you. And she said, as I saw you driving up the road, I knew you were coming to baptize me. If that's not the Lord, then I don't know what is. In that moment, I can't tell you the joy that came over me. God healed a lot in that moment and throughout that day. God has supernatural healing powers that we don't understand, but he can do in one moment more than what we can do in a lifetime. He can heal a person or a problem in the blink of an eye, but we must first believe, trust, and obey God above all. So if he puts it on your heart to do it, even though you don't understand it and you are fearful to do it, I highly recommend you do it because the best blessings are waiting on the other side of that. 
in your obedience, God will reap so many blessings on you. Our first scripture reading comes from Jeremiah 17, 14. Heal me, O Lord, and I will be healed. Save me and I will be saved. For you are my praise. I can't tell you how many times I have praised the Lord this week. Even though there's other things going on in my life that um, I have concern over. I am trusting. Fully trusting. And believing and being obedient in what God is calling me to do in those situations because I was in the, in all in this situation. And I saw in a moment how God can turn everything around. Whatever he is calling you to do and you are fearful or you don't see how that can work out, just go and walk in obedience. Trusting that the Lord is going to cover you and bless you just as he has me. I mean, I've seen it a lot of times along my path and how the Lord has transformed me and other people in my life. And, you know, walking in obedience, our first response is to be resistant we don't want to be rejected. We don't want to be an outcast. We don't want to um, have anyone think think we're different. Or, you know, I have a hard time putting that into words. But we just don't want to be an outcast. We don't want someone to attack us. We don't want to be um, turned away. But, if we are walking, trusting, and being obedient in what God is calling us to do, it makes no difference what the world does to us. Because he's going to use whatever happens for good. may not be in that moment, but it will be in future moments. And then you will see the whole picture and why it turned out the way that it did and how that it did. He can bless you through a trial and a and something that you feared and something you dreaded. He can bless you so abundantly if you trust and believe and obey. We're all spiritually sick because we rely too much on ourselves or too much on the world instead of going immediately when we have any questions or any thoughts or any plans or doubts and fears, we automatically, the devil starts coming in and flooding our minds with all kinds of doubt and fear. But if we just take a moment and breathe and go straight to the Lord, he will guide you. And if he doesn't immediately answer you, sit still, wait, and listen and it may not be what you want so many times more times than not it has not been how I wanted the Lord to answer me but when he answered me I knew it was the right way so many times we want to attack back when we're attacked instead of taking a breath and praying for the attacker don't make quick decisions Go to the Lord and wait on His guidance. And His way is always the best way. Trust me, I, tr through trial and error, I myself can testify. I have done so many things against His will and it was just a big mess. And um, in James 5.15... I loved this scripture and um, and the prayer of faith will restore the one who is sick and the Lord will raise him up and if he has committed sins he will be forgiven so we're all 
spiritually sick, but he is going to restore us and he is going to forgive us if we come to him and repent with a full mind and open heart. And it, like I said, it's a natural emotion to fear and be resistant. But we must, we must, we must trust and obey. In Isaiah 41, 10 through 13, and I, when I was uh, preparing this sermon, this spoke to me so, so loudly. Do not fear anything, for I am with you. Do not be afraid, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Be assured I will help you. I will certainly take hold of you with my righteous hand and a hand of justice, of power, of victory, of salvation. Indeed, all of those who are angry with you will be put to shame and humiliated. Those who strive against you will be as nothing and will perish. You shall search for those who quarrel with you, but not find them. They who war against you will be as nothing, as nothing at all. And this is my favorite part. For I, the Lord your God, keep hold of your right hand. I am the Lord who says to you, do not fear, I will help you. Whatever you are struggling with, whatever your fear is, whatever is going on in your life, if you just surrender and trust and believe and obey, God will move mountains you never, ever, ever could imagine. And as I said, we may be rejected, but God's plan will restore you and he will make you stronger and elevate you on the other side. So walking in obedience will reap its rewards later because we truly do reap what we sow. I encourage you today and all of the days to come to stand firm in Christ no matter what it costs you here on earth. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your Son. We thank you for all of our blessings, all of our trials. Dear Lord, that we are trusting, believing, and obeying you. Even though we are afraid, we know that you will calm that storm in us and get us through what you have called us to. Dear Lord, just to all of the sick, give them a touch of healing. To the families who are suffering, give them comfort. To all of those in war, calm the storm. Dear Lord, we thank you for all of our blessings. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. I hope you all enjoyed this. I'm praising God for what he has done and what he will continue to do for all of us. I just can't tell you how healing, how quickly he can heal the broken if we truly, truly trust and obey. Have a wonderful, safe, and blessed week. Until we meet again, God bless.